And, you know, like last game, uh, they had their defenseman, top defenseman wasn't there. He was, he was back home, and they flew him in at the last second. And, uh, you, you know what? It's all good, though. It's all good. Uh, you form your team with adversity. If you, don't, if you don't have adversity, especially I find early in the year, it's a good moment to have it. We know we're missing players. We know there's, there's guys that are... Uh, well, now all the sick guys are gone. Though. That's pretty good. So at least one, one problem uh, is out. But, uh, but it's adversity, and that's the only way you get stronger. You, you, you see who you want to be. In light of Capuano's uh, head coaching debut, can you just talk about kind of what the jump was like for you going from the A's to the A's? Well, I always say it's the food. <laughs> it's too much food. No, the, the, the reality is it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's, a big, uh, it's a big undertaking, but to me, I've always done things the same way. I break it down to the simplest expression, which is coaching players one-on-one. -on -one. So to me, that hasn't been any different. Uh, obviously, you know, there's good coaches in the American League, but now you get the top coaches in the world that are coaching this league. And you're you're expecting the other team to adjust all the time, and then to come up with some stuff against what you're doing, and that's what's been happening, which, which is good. I'm a chess player, so I love doing that. Uh, so it's been uh, it's been challenging, most especially not because you're NHL really players, because I find they're extremely receptive. To be honest with you, that's that's something I found. Is, uh, they're very receptive. They learn very quick, so you move on quick. Uh, but I find the minute you lose somebody in your lineup. It has a bigger impact than any league I've been in. You know, in the American League, you lose somebody, somebody will step up, or a few people will step up. In the NHL, when you lose somebody, it's you're missing something every game. When you're missing two and three, there's, there's too much out there that you're missing. And, uh, and you kind of you kind of have to reinvent a bit the way you're playing to, to manage that. So that's probably the biggest adjustment I would say I found. How do you sense characterize uh, the way Bridgeport played under Jack when you coached against him? Never played him. Different conference. Different conference. Really? Yeah, never played him. So I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't know, and to be honest with you, we're not going to focus on him. Uh, we know the one thing we know is this team's going to come out tonight. So that's it. Always it always happens. You get a new coach. Uh, the guys the guys want to prove something. With a new coach, and uh, they're a little nervous. Uh, and usually it turns out that the team comes out real strong. So, uh, we know that, and I think it comes back to what you were saying. You know, the teams that we've been meeting lately have got a lot of motivation for what I believe, and, uh, and we've got to match that motivation and then surpass it. And I think right now, today, our motivation is, is very clear. You know, we, uh, the last three games, at least two of them we deserved and, and we didn't get, and um, we want to make sure that we reproduce the good stuff that we've been, we've been doing, but a little bit more offside to our game. And uh, having Downey back and healthy, uh, that helps us. And, uh, but obviously, uh, right now we're still waiting for Gagne. He practiced yesterday. He looked great out there. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little anxious to get him, to get him in the lineup in there. But we won't get him today, but uh, it, it feels like it's going to be close. So Say that dealing with adversity. How have you sensed the players are dealing with this little stretch? Well, the one thing the one thing we want to do is we want to see through the cloud. I mean. Yesterday morning, we, we, we put the stats on, on, on the board for the players. We're third in the league for penalty kill. We're sixth in the league in power play with 0.3 something to be in the top five. We're actually first in the league at home in the power play, 30%. Uh, we're, the fir we're third in the league for shots scored. We're third in the league for, for the least shots against. Uh, you know, we got a whole bunch of numbers like that that, that that show us that we've been doing a lot of good things. What's been happening lately is every time we make one mistake, it seems that you know it's costing us. And on the other hand, we're getting tons of scoring chances that we're not bearing. And uh, so it's not about the overall picture. The overall picture, if you look at the, the stats, it's real good. It's, it's lately the little details of our, of our scoring abilities that uh, obviously Vinny not there, uh, that hurts. Uh, and, and Downing just came back. Obviously he missed some games, so that hurt too. Uh, it, it, it put our fourth line as a in a position to be a third line, a third line in a position to be a second line. We all know that you can manage a portion of a game like that, or maybe two games like that. You can't manage many games like that. Uh, but right now, getting Downey back gives us a little bit more liberty on our on other lines. And, uh, and ba basically, we just want the same scoring opportunities, but we don't want to miss those open nets anymore and the short goals that we've been missing.